This video is brought to you by John Robson Guitar Tuition. If you enjoy the content, please consider supporting the channel by enrolling on a course, purchasing some guitar lessons or a t-shirt, or you can join my Patreon. Now, on with the show. Hello chaps, welcome once again to John Robson Guitar Tuition. As always, I do hope you're well. You may recall a couple of weeks ago, I think it was, you might have seen me um, doing a video where I was ordering a guitar. Specifically, it was an Epiphone Les Paul Jr. And the reason I was ordering it was because I've got a bit of a hankering for a, a single P90 Jr. style guitar. Um, everybody says how versatile and, you know, can deceptively deceptively versatile they can be so i've never really put it to the test so i ordered one here it is let's get it out the box Go on, And here it is. Now, the first thing you probably notice is that my shirt has suddenly changed. That's because I filmed that part of the video yesterday, and it's now today. Um, and in the intervening period, I've been having a bit of a play on the guitar, using it in lessons and so on, just to gather some thoughts and conclusions about what I think of it. And I'll tell you exactly what those are, right after we've heard the guitar in a mix. And as always, you'll find a full tab for that piece of music in both Guitar Pro and PDF formats, along with a clip of me playing it and a jam track for you to play along with yourself. All of that is up on my Patreon page. There's the address and the link is in the description. $3 or £2.50 a month gets you access to all of these additional resources that go along with these YouTube videos. A massive, massive thank you to everyone who supports me in that or any of the other ways, all of which are linked down below in the description. 
Uh, before we go any further, the settings I was using there, it was the Marshall DSL-1 combo, as usual these days. The vast majority of the tones you were hearing were coming from the uh, Classic Gain channel with those settings, and I was just going from clean to dirty and from bright to dark by using the, vo uh, the volume and tone controls on the guitar. Um, there was one time when I was... Uh, basically uh, decided to chuck a bit of gain on and use the ultra gain channel and that was for the very final solo at the end of the piece just to see how the guitar handles a bit of gain and it uh, did rather well I think um, so before we go any further let's get all of the kind of um, techie sort of stuff out of the way and um, you know all the sort of specs and everything. Um, there's some uh, vital statistics for the guitar. You can see 1st and 12th fret neck profiles, a nut width of 42.6 millimetres, a weight of 3.46 kilos, and a DC pickup resistance of 8.62k. Um, I'll put a full link to the whole spec down in the description so you can go and, you know, kind of uh, fill your boots, basically, if you want a deeper dive on the um, info there. But basically, this is all about what... It, what what the guitar is like to play what does it sound like and uh, what are my conclusions with it um well i really quite like it um it's one of the things that's often said is that a guitar like this um is um, much more versatile than you think you know just one pickup you think it's going to be a one-dimensional one sound guitar but as you heard in that demo piece that is very far from the truth um, at the moment I've got the volume control on about three and the tone on about five so tone's about halfway and the volume is just a, a shade below halfway and I've got something that's it's never going to fool anybody that you're playing an acoustic guitar, but it will sit in a mix in the same way as maybe a piezo electroacoustic would. Sounds like this. You know, um... So, as I say, it's it'll fit in that same sort of um, hole in the jigsaw that uh, and that an electroacoustic might kind of uh, occupy. Just crank the uh, the volume up a little bit. Let's just and back the tone off. I've now got something that's much more kind of like a clean electric guitar, maybe on a middle pickup setting or perhaps even going towards a neck pickup setting. You also find yourself starting to experiment more with where you're actually, you know, playing the strings. So over here, it's kind of much more kind of neck pick up -y, and back here, it's, well, it's obviously much more bridge pick up -y. I'll show you what I mean. I'll kind of move back as I'm strumming and you'll, you'll kind of hear the, the difference it makes. So it very much does encourage you to be creative with the way you're playing. Nothing wrong with that. And, you know, um, like many guitarists, you know, I'm probably guilty a lot of the time. Well, certainly with the tone control of just leaving it on full and not really kind of bothering with it. I am a bit of a, um, you know, a, a fan of using the volume control on a guitar. But I know many players tend to just kind of leave it all turned up full and just uh, stomp on a pedal to change the sound. This really d is a very rewarding guitar for just investigating what these two controls can do. They're there for a reason. Um, you know, and, you know, if I crank everything up, then, you know, I've got like, I'm, I'm in a sort of good old-fashioned 70s classic rock territory. <laughs> So to be able to go from that sound to this
without going near a foot switch um that's that's really impressive i think um the setup of the guitar let's talk about that um first of all i want to say a massive massive thank you to the chaps at uh gak gak guitar amp keyboard um i ordered the guitar on a friday and it turned up on a saturday oh no sorry when did i order anyway i it, it i've lost track of my days uh, but i ordered it one day and it turned up the next next day delivery um excellent customer service some other retailers could learn a thing or two from that just saying um and uh, the guitar has obviously had some time spent on it um you know the the, the setup is absolutely faultless um you know neck relief perfect action perfect uh beautiful comfortable you know, neck to play no sharp fret ends no fret buzz nothing like that it's you, you know you you couldn't ask for a better setup guitar even the intonation on a guitar like this uh which is often something that people do kind of um get concerned about is it going to be intonated okay now this is the wrap over style bridge but you can see it's the lightning bar one with the the, the compensated um line of saddles kind of cast into it there i haven't measured it on anything what you would call like you know scientifically accurate like a strobe tuner or anything like that i've just used what i use every day for tuning the, the headstock tuner but according to that and according to my ears which is the main thing um the intonation is absolutely spot on you never kind of find yourself venturing up to the the dusty end of the neck and thinking oh, it's starting to sound a little bit wobbly up here i better scurry off back down there where everything's in tune it just you just never get that um so it really could be a do-it-all guitar this you know the, the range of sounds that it that are on offer uh, very impressive and you know as you heard in that demo piece when you stomp on some kind of high again dirt it, it handles it perfectly well of course it's a single coil guitar it's going to hum and buzz a bit but that's why they invented noise gates to take care of that sort of thing if that's um, a concern is it a guitar for me i don't honestly think so i don't honestly think so i am a guitar player who likes to kind of mess around with the volume and tone with a, certainly with a volume control on the guitar i'm not I, I don't tend to go near the tone control much uh I, but i do like to go from clean to dirty using the volume control but it's just i suppose decades and decades of having you know that preset kind of option there where you've got another pickup that you can just flick a switch and go to it rather than having to you know look down and what number is it set at at the moment and where do i need to be you know for me it's just that little bit more convenient um to have just a, a switch that i can flick and you know um that, that's just me but again you know some people colin from guitaristas for example you know you see him kind of playing a guitar like this and he's he's all over it it's just obviously intuitive for him because he's been playing um single pickup p90 guitars for you know donkey's years um so there you go i have got a, a comparison uh with between this guitar and a Faisley coming up really rather soon uh in the original video when i ordered this i said you know i wanted kind of this style of guitar didn't want to spend a lot of money um and people said well why didn't you go and check out the Faisley?" i must admit i went onto the bax music website and and had a look for something like by Faisley that was similar to this and couldn't find anything don't know how i missed it but i did um but then uh, the wonderful rick from fazley yeah uh, from bax guitars uh bax music rather uh got in touch and said um yeah we've got something very similar to that guitar you've just ordered uh would you like us to send you one so you can do a comparison so obviously i said yes so there's one of those coming at some point and we're going to see uh how i think that one's about 100 quid so we'll see how it measures up against this 300 quid epiphone should be an interesting comparison i'm uh, interested in seeing how you know the um how the the, the lowly budget fazley kind of uh, shapes up against this especially with as i say you know a guitar like this being reliant upon uh the the, the, the controls uh that's where i think it will be um it will be decided on those two guitars or between this one and the fazley so there you go folks that is my uh review of the epiphone les paul jr make of it what you will hope you've uh, found the uh, video to be informative and possibly even entertaining in some small way and if that's the case please hit the subscribe button and the notification bell if you haven't already done so and why not drop me a like while you're at it don't forget as always the live 
stream every Friday, 5pm UK time, where we drink beer and talk about music and guitars. Great way to kick off the weekend. I'd love to see you there if you can make it. But for now, I'll bid you all a good day and say thank you so much for watching. Thank you for your time. Look after yourselves, folks. Stay well, stay safe, and above all, stay sane. Bye for now. (laughs) 